uh, we're not going to do that. We're not going to talk about that. So now we don't want you to back out the block. And I told you before, that was easy work. It's not Mayweather's fault because Mayweather did what he always do. Be a calculated fighter, be a smart fighter, and find a way to win. You don't believe it, okay? Because I told, I told you and the rest of the critics. He was, I mean, he's a hell of a fighter. I don't take it away from him. But it's more like you got A-level, you got, he's an A-level, he's an A-level fighter. He's just not in the Mayweather League. Hard work! 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 Well, Joe Rogan, this is as accomplished a kickboxer as has made the walk to the UFC octagon as we've seen in the last several years. I'm excited to see his kickboxing skills on display in this particular matchup. Really a nice arsenal of kicks. He'll attack that lead leg beautifully, not to mention the solid punching technique that he brings to the table. This man is a danger for anyone in his striking range. When that octagon door closes, we're expecting fireworks tonight. This guy has excellent footwork. He's very difficult to catch inside the octagon. He closes the distance well, and he's always in a position to attack and defend. You know, we trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts, maybe more than we should, but this guy fits the bill. Maybe doesn't stand out in any one area on film, but plus skills everywhere. And you gotta think tonight, Joe, with his skill set, he's more than comfortable really anywhere this fight goes. If he needs to stand and strike, he can do it. If the fight hits the canvas, he can submit you. A lot of different skills brought to the table by this young man. This guy is extremely well-rounded. His submissions are world-class. His striking is excellent. And he is extremely unpredictable in what attack he chooses to go with. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age with some differences in height and similar reach. To get us started with the official introductions, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of four wins, no losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 150 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Pretty boy! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of five wins, two losses. He stands five feet eleven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Hercules! 
And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? You ready? It's and we are underway. So he won his UFC debut by knockout. So you got to think the confidence is sky high. Oh! Oh! here. Good defense there. Well, he lands another jab, really employing the jab effectively here. How about that shin? He's doing a great job of timing these shots. That one hurt. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. He got tagged there. Oh, beautiful kick. Oh, Hit him hard with that hook. Wow! Back to his feet again. Amazing. Lands a nice one, too. Oh, he's going for it. Oh, oh, he got caught. Oh, oh, he's oh. out. Beautiful strike here to end the fight early in the first. Well, Joe, we've talked a lot about his technique and how technical a striker he is. And that was really the shot heard around the world to get the finish here in the first round. Again, maybe he caught the guy cold a little bit. He didn't have a chance to warm up. But that is a huge result for him here tonight. And on the other side, he didn't take much damage. So big, big win for him here tonight. Let's take a look at that again. And here it is again. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory that could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliato has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 21 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, pretty ball. So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward. But you can be sure night is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his coaches. Congratulations. Hard work. Hard work. Hard work. Hard work. Hard work. Hard work. Hard work! Hard work! Good to see this talented fighter make the walk again once tonight. Gotta think he'll look to use his speed and footwork in this fight. Those appear to be his biggest advantages. Maybe not the most powerful guy on the roster necessarily, but exceptionally quick on the feet. Very good at using his feet to set up angles for his offense and will mix it up. A lot of variations to his attacks. Can fight on the outside, but also not afraid to enter the pocket. Ooh, great job of moving that head off the center line. Just an outstanding striker who brings a lot of different attributes to the table. This fighter has an iron jaw. I have seen him take shots on the chin and not be affected. Shots that would knock a lesser completely unconscious.
Will Brooks signed to the UFC roster in 2016 with much fanfare, and American Top Team really believes they could have a future champion on their hands. When you break down the film of Will Brooks, not a lot in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he comes into the UFC with a long list of big wins, big fight experience, five round experience, won a major title outside the UFC. We'll see how he chooses to attack this particular matchup tonight. This guy has incredible takedown defense, and of all the fighters in the UFC, he's amongst the most difficult to get to the mat. And now our kill the take for this lightweight scrap. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of five wins, no losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 150 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Richie Boy! And now to his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 18 wins, 4 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, Il Will! When the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Ready? You ready? All right, we are underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Brooks, plus athlete, played football at Harper College, wrestled in high school, really good grappler. Oh, that's how you throw a combination. Beautiful stuff there. Big kick to the body lands. He is going after it here. All right, so he just decides to get up here, Joe. He got tagged there. Nice one, two there. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Look at that, he's timing that jab. In on a double leg takedown here. Nice takedown. And now is where things could get really interesting. Both fighters back to their feet now. Nice shot. Watch the shot here, Joe. Big power shot there. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Ill Will Brooks. Well, he got clipped to the body there, Joe. Left his midsection wide open. He's become a little bit susceptible to that shot by almost leaning in, moving into his opponent's offense. Not a good look there. Oh, elbow to the head. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Brooks' hook shot blocked. That one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. There's a good knee to the body. Oh, he's got to be careful here. Yeah, here he goes again. Left kick to the body. Oh, that was a big left hand he connected with. Oh! He hurt him with that hook. What a leg kick! Oh! This could be it! The left hook hits home. Nasty combinations here. Oh, straight right! Once again establishing the jab here. Oh, pretty good entry here on the double leg takedown. No good. How about that chin? These guys are swinging. And mixing it up beautifully. Straight right hand, no good. That oh, uppercut he landed is an good. Uppercut. Wow! Back to his feet again. Amazing. Body kick, look at that. Well, you gotta like the way he has started this fight tonight. He has come out aggressively, connecting on a lot of shots here in this first round. No doubt. A crazy. Oh. Nice leg kick. Bad. Big straight punch. Excellent job of timing these combinations. That's how you defend the single. Oh! 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 
Turner with that up for oh. Back to his feet again. Amazing. Oh! Goes down again. Oh, very nice. Oh! Vicious oh. combination. Nice leg kick. Oh! And just like that, the fight's over. Outstanding! Beautiful, accurate uppercut that got him the win. Yeah, Joe, I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Let's take a look at that again. Take a look at this from a different angle. Boom! Right on the money. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine's called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 25 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Pretty Boy! So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night, I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go, but at the very least, you can be sure. His next fight will be a big one, and he will celebrate deep into the night with his teammates, his coaches, and his friends after this monumental victory. Hard work! 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 Well, this is an outstanding kickboxer making his way to the UFC Octagon right now. Very interesting stylistic matchup here tonight. Just an outstanding arsenal. Kicks, great punching technique, power in both hands, works the lead leg, not afraid to work the body. Just a complete kickboxer here, now plying his trade in mixed martial arts. A dangerous proposition for anyone caught in his striking range. This guy is an excellent striker. What he wants to do is utilize his footwork, his takedown defense, and land hard strikes to get the victory. You know, we trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts, maybe more than we should, but this guy fits the bill. Maybe doesn't stand out in any one area on film, but plus skills everywhere. And you gotta think tonight, Joe Set, he's more than comfortable really anywhere this fight goes. If he needs to stand and strike, he can do it. If the fight hits the canvas, he can submit you. A lot of different skills brought to the table by this young man. This guy is one of the toughest guys we've ever seen compete in the octagon. His ability to overcome adversity, to absorb punishment, and then come back to deliver his own is a really amazing thing to watch. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age. 
and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC the lightweight division. It's first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of six wins, no losses. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in 150 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Fritty Boy. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 11 wins, one loss. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Alexander the Great Hernandez. Now, when the action begins, a referee in charge, Eve Levine. So Eve Levine draws the lightweight assignment Ready? here. You ready? Round one. All right, so here we go with round one. This young contender has won his last three fights, and as many of you know, each knockout more impressive than the last. He'll try to extend the knockout streak here tonight to continue his path toward title. Oh! Whoa! He's back to his feet, but he's hurt. Body kick, look at that. He hurt him with that hook. Huge shots there. The left hook hits home. Lands a big right hand early. Oh, straight right. He's fainting with that punch, showing that punch. Big left hand there inside. Oh, he's going for it here. Hard hook. Well, Joe, you got to fault the strategy here. I'm not saying he bet on the opponent, but he's moving right into that straight punch and right into his opponent's striking range. He would be wise to get his head off of the center line and stop leaning in. Kick lands forward there. Nice. Very nice. Good combinations landing here. Oh, he caught him with an uppercut. Oh, and he found the target again. Back and forth we go here. Nice one-two there. And now that jab starting to get established. Connects with the punch there. Oh! He's got him hurt here. Oh, big left hook there. Big Beautiful body, body shot. shot there, too. Vicious, vicious combinations here. And we got a fight on our hands. Oh, huge oh, right hand. Wow. Oh. And just like that, the oh fight God. is over. Huge uppercut for the win. Yeah, Joe, I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Let's see it here again. Great angle here. Bam! And good night. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 48 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Pretty Boy. So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night, I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go, but at the very least, you can be sure. His next fight will be a big one. He will celebrate deep into the night with his teammates, his coaches, and his friends after this monumental victory here under the bright lights tonight. Hard work! 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 Hard work!
division bout. Enter this young fighter here, his kicks as powerful as anyone in the sport at present. And not only that, but he'll do major damage just by landing a couple of them. Oftentimes, all it will take one kick to the body just underneath that elbow or a kick to the lead leg, and you can change the entire complexion of the fight. Very curious to see how it plays out for this powerful kicker in this matchup tonight. This guy is a very well-rounded fighter. He can do it all. If the fight takes place standing or on the ground, he's going to be comfortable in all areas of the game. All right, so here he is making his way to the octagon, and it's these type of matchups, Joe, that really can create superstars and produce UFC history. This is a rivalry fight. These guys have been jawing throughout fight week. They don't like each other, and here in short order, this rivalry is about to resume on the greatest proving ground in all of mixed martial arts. This guy is taking shots to the jaw that would put many fighters unconscious and pressed forward as if nothing happened. His chin is legendary. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. More than five years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record now. Five wins, two losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, Vicious! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of seven wins, no losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 150 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Fritty Boy! And when the action begins, I look for a charge of Carl Yamasaki. So Mario Yamasaki, the veteran, draws the opening assignment here. Well, no shortage of UFC history has been made within these very walls. Good to have you with us as we get underway here at the O2 Arena in London, England. All right, so here we go. Round one is underway of this rivalry fight here tonight. Perhaps there will be a little bit of a feeling out process here. Both guys were trying to put the emotions out of the equation here tonight. But it is rival versus rival under the lights here tonight. Oh! Back to the feet. Oh, big punches here. Oh! He's got him hurt here. Oh, huge shot there. A kick to the leg here, Joe. Oh, straight right. He's just picking him apart. Yeah. Huge left, left shot. Big left hand there. Big left hand. Nasty combinations here. Oh, and he lands another jab, using the jab beautifully all night. Tags him. He's doing a very nice job protecting his head here. All of those are blocked. Caught him with a punch. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. He clipped him with an uppercut. Huge punches landed by both men. Ooh. Oh, that was a very hard right hand. Oh, man. Vicious, vicious punch combinations here. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. Good shot. Oh, a lot of blood coming out of that cheek area now, Joe. He's doing a very good job of parrying and blocking all the shots that are coming towards his head. Just over three minutes to go. It looks like he's looking to set up that uppercut. Lands a punch. That one hurt. Both fighters throwing heat now. Kick 
lands for him there. Effective with the jab. Inside leg kick. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is blocked. Oh, man, with that right leg kick. Caught that oh. one. Vicious combo there! Oh! Oh! Big body shot, shot by! Oh! Oh! He's hurt! He's hurt! These are some bombs he is throwing. There's a nice inside leg kick. Lands a good combination. Oh, big right hand there! Just over two minutes to go in round one. Oh! Kick to the face! He's got him hurt here. Oh! Whoa! Up again here, but hurt. Big Beautiful body, body shot. shot there, too. Oh, Goodbye. huge right hand. Wow. Oh. Oh. Vicious combination. Wow. Oh. Oh. Big, Big body shot. shot. Body. Hard hook. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Big oh. right hand there. Rocked him with that right hand. Oh. That's a big hook. Oh! He oh, he's landed some good shots here. He's got him hurt here. Oh! oh big shot. Unbelievable. Back to the feet. Big shots. Hard straight punch. Here's a nice inside leg kick. Oh! That one hurt him badly. He is getting off some huge punches here. Oh, very nice. Big body shot. There he swung with the haymaker. Big shots! Well, still plenty of time to go here and round. Oh, big shot! He's got him right here. Big punches here. Big body, body shot. shot there, too. Oh! Oh, big left. Is going after it here. Oh, he might be out. Haymaker. Wow. He tagged him. Oh, and he's knocked down. Ten seconds to go here. Let's see what happens. Straight punch. Back and forth we go. Oh. Round two straight ahead. Stop. feel good about myself. Look here. Is this a boxing match or is this MMA? Man, your boxing is killing them. Let's take a look at some of the action in that round here. And here a big shot lands and a knockdown. And here another big shot lands and another knockdown. And here another clean shot lands and another knockdown. Good to have Brazil's Jenny Andrade in the building here. Second round underway. He's definitely going to want to start this round off fast to try to pick up where he left off. His opponent was in big trouble at the end of that round. Nice jab. Oh! He's in a lot of trouble. Nice takedown. And now it moves into full guard. Nice elbow to the body. Making all these shots count. He's now working from full guard. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. There's a left hand. Back to half guard now. He's in the half guard now. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Excellent posture. Good scramble. And there's a nice jab. It looked like it did oh, stun him a little bit. Oh, a nice combination. Oh, he's hurt. Body kick, look at that. Oh! 
the left hook, hits home. Big shot to the left, he's stunned, he's hurt. Wow. Unbelievable. It was a huge punch to the body that stopped this fight. Yeah, you gotta say it was a good stoppage by the referee. No denying that he was hurt significantly by that body shot. And that spelled the beginning of the end. Just outstanding placement on that strike just below the elbow. And that'll do it. You can see here from a different look, nasty shot to the body that lands absolutely perfectly. The legs go and gets the TKO. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. So there he is after the big TKO victory here tonight. He had some doubters coming in. He certainly muted those naysayers here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop to this contest at one minute, 25 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO 54. Well, there have got to be few things sweeter, Joe, than winning a rivalry fight like this in the UFC. And you can see the celebration is on. And why not? Huge result for him here tonight.